Batista bashes the WWE creative and not only that, ladies and gentlemen, but says his WWE career is over. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of General Jerry Channel. Now, usually on a Sunday, I take a day off, but oh my God, has the WWE news been going around today. Um, so let's get in here. Let's not waste any time. Uh, <clears throat> Batista says his WWE career is over after bad backstage incident. Um, Batista has criticized WWE and said his career is over. He took to Twitter on Saturday and blasted the day a WWE cameraman doesn't know your name and addresses you as Mr. Cool Strong Dude. Um... It is the day you realize your career is over. Hashtag today. A fan then responded they probably fired somebody from creative who then decided to become a cameraman. Batista responded to that with both funny and very sad at the same time. Apparently you know more about the business than a lot of people are hiring. Um, the tweets came across very angry and a sense of resentment he has for creative as well as the WWE production staff not even knowing his name. He always has a dim view of WWE creative but his WWE hiring system um, appears to be the last straw that has broken the camel's back. His outright saying his career is over due to the way WWE has been operating today. Day. There's actually a lot of people backstage who have limited wrestling history knowledge. WWE hires the majority of the backstage staff from top universities or major entertainment brands. Wrestling is the least important conversation. Uh, is the least important factor. Technical still and experience in writing or production is what they are looking for. Um, so obviously Batista very vocal right now. Um, I completely agree with Batista. I think some of the cameramen may, might not know about um, about the WWE's history. They literally just hire them from universities. They they literally just say, you know, at the end of the day, this is the way it is. You have to just do good camera work. You can't know who the wrestlers are. Just do your job. And um, it, it is quite disturbing because at the same time, WWE... Um, what even even a few years ago, wrestling has been taken out of the WWE. It's called the World Wrestling Entertainment. Um, it's not. There's no wrestling anymore now. And Batista, as well as other superstars, are very pissed off at this. Um, he has Batista has went on record to say that he does not like the creative team. He despises the creative team and what they're doing today. Um, some of these creative teams aren't really to. They don't know about. The wrestling business, they are only there because they did stuff in the past where um, they may have written other dramas or anything like that. And they have limited knowledge of the wrestling audience. Um, it is something to definitely talk about. Um, I've seen the booking recently and it looks to me as if it was written by a two-year-old. Um, it seems to me that it was also written by someone who knows nothing about the WWE. Very limited. And um, now what we're hearing is that Vince McMahon, due to the ratings dropping, Vince McMahon has to be in the WWE creative team room all the time now when they come up with ideas. Apparently Vince McMahon is really pissed off at the ratings being down and he's really pissed off at the WWE creative team. So any... Um, any like um, storylines to go around has to be um, verified by Vince McMahon right now. Um, it does sum up the way the storylines are going in the past. I mean, I'm not going to lie to you, ladies and gentlemen. This is one of the worst years as a professional wrestling fan. And I've been covering this now for nearly five years. The 5th of December will be my 5th anniversary on YouTube. Um, we're going to be doing something there. We're also doing the Roast of General Jerry on the 11th of December. Um... A lot of people have been talking about that. I'm going to have Wrestling Jesus. Um, I actually talked to Polston and a few other people. Um, we're going to try and get everyone involved. And they're going to bash me. And I'm going to sit there. And I'm going to have to take it. Uh. But anyway, that's besides the point, ladies and gentlemen. Um... You know, CM Punk, Batista, they're very vocal on the WWE creative team. The creative team is abysmal. Um, definitely one of the worst years in professional wrestling. The storylines didn't add up. I remember it all really went downhill. Do you remember the, the night before WrestleMania when it was Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar and they were doing this? Do you all remember that? Yeah, exactly. Um, I mean, just look at Roman Reigns' promo. Um, it really wasn't that great. Um, I would even have Roman Reigns say nothing. Because I, I legitimately get nervous when he's on. And I love Roman Reigns. I really like the guy. 
But when he's on the microphone, I'm generally nervous for him. And as a fan, that shouldn't be. Uh, I'm nervous in case he says something wrong. You shouldn't have that feeling. Um, but anyway, um, that's besides the point. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Batista heavily criticized. He says that his WWE career is over now. Uh, basically, one of the cameramen said, Mr. Cool Strong Dude. Um, and he was pretty angry at that. And people should know who Batista is. I mean, Batista is... Um, uh, well, some of the storylines he was involved in was absolutely amazing. Um, I was a big fan of Batista. Um, a lot of people criticized Batista when he won the Royal Rumble, but the problem is, though, it wasn't Batista's fault. It was a creative team, and, and Batista earned his thoughts, so it definitely sums that up. But anyway, guys, let me know in the comments below. We're also going to be talking about John Cena versus The Undertaker. Apparently, they're going to be setting that match. I'm going to be talking about that. But anyway, guys, this is General Jerry on the General Jerry channel. Signing out.